How are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, I didn't see anything coming out of here. So we've got a princess and some drones. Right. And a very, very happy luggage. Always having so much fun. Righty ho, what are we doing? Okay, we are making some bricks. Excellent. Plenty of those bricks. Might have helped if I took that tin out, but never mind. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make ourselves a tank. There we go, so that's a seared tank. Oh, and that's given us a book. I'll have a look through that in a second. So let's get the uh, quest book up. A smeltery controller. A smeltery drain. Seared faucets and seared bricks. Okay, so. Seared bricks is the first one. Okay, that's fairly easy to do. Okay, and a seared faucet is like that. And there is three of them. Uh, doink, doink, doink. Okay, let's get those out of my inventory. Uh, okay, so all right, this is one of those ones where I just need to have them, is it? I don't need to submit them. All right, so let's just pop those down here for a sec. Is that it's a fluid duct? I remember making that. Rid of that stuff. There we go. Right. And the other stuff was all. I think it was smeltery. It's, There we go, right, smeltery controller is like that. Oh, that's easy to make, excellent. I'm liking this stuff, it's very easy to make. Uh, oh, I, I, I don't know, it'd be good if there was, but... Uh, um, this, this game is... This site is actually really, really basic still, but I'm loving the fact that it's so fast. And now all you need is a casting table. Casting! Casting! Basin casting table! Oh, that's easy enough to do. Like that. There we go. There's a casting table. Right, let's do this quest. Okay, so we're going to get all of that stuff. Get a full heart, a reward bag, a peach sapling, or a slimy sapling. Hi, Simon Parsons. Welcome to Beam. Hello, James. Right, okay. All right. Um, I don't want to set up a poll. One, two, three, or four. One, two, three, four. So one is slimy sapling, two is peach sapling, three is reward bag, and four is a full heart. And you're going to be pounced on by people in the chat now because they want to know how to change the colour of their names. James. Not one, two, three, or four. Oh, I'm sure I'm, we're going to want lots and lots and lots of stuff, but the first thing I want to do is get these quests done. Will my favourite emote work? No. Nope. Yes. The vampire. The vampire works. Oh, actually, it's just an unhappy face. That's no good. So, everyone wants a slimy sapling, do they? Alright, let's go for a slimy sapling. Alright, don't have enough space in my inventory. Let's clear out some stuff. 
In fact, let's take this stuff over to where I'm going to make the smell tree, and we'll put that all in a chest there for now. I don't know if I'm going to need slimes much, but I want a slimy sapling. Now I know I can have one, and there's the chest we'll use. All right. All right, so we'll put that in there. That in there. Let's get all this stuff in for a minute. Okay, 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 right. Let's claim the reward. Right, so that's got that, and the important thing to do now, of course, is to run that slimy sapling through the trealizer. It won't. <laughs> oh, it's a Tinker's Construct tree. It's not a, um, a what's it tree, so it probably will not grow. Mm, let's put it somewhere to grow for now. We'll come back later on and see what it looks like. This will do. Alright, so we'll get rid of this apple tree. Like that, and... Oh, that craft, that craft is dead now. Okay, and... Oh. And we'll put the... Update happening on the 30th. Lots of new things being added. Viewer list, emoticon list, and the shop will be open. And that sounds absolutely awesome, James. I'm so glad to hear that's going to be happening. And, you know, what I'm getting from people here is this is so much better than Twitch. So I'm presuming you're a, a dev or someone involved in it. And bloody good work, man. Bloody good work. Okay, so... Yep, I got apple oak saplings out of the apple oak tree. What a surprise. Yeah, sometimes this game just amazes me, you know. Uh, okay, so put those away. Put those away. Put the grafter and this sapling in the bin. Looks like we're going to have to make another grafter. But that's not a problem now. We've got all these resources. I can hey something for nothing that uh it's so nice having resources again now now what I want to make this evening is uh, a smeltery and I've no idea how to make it so this is going to be fun for all the family do I have any bone meal no I don't let's go and get some bone meal let's see what this looks like all growed up that'll be enough The luggage is having fun in here. Get rid of this stuff. Righty ho. Oh, can't bone meal it to make it grow. Look at that. Right, not so happy with these Tinker's Construct trees, to be honest with you, but uh, hey, what the hell. It's something a bit different, isn't it? All right, let's read this book. Okay. Mighty smelting. Make the most of your metals. Welcome to the world of metal craft. Within these pages, you will learn the secrets of crafting rare and precious metals into usable materials. You will learn how to cast everything from the softest iron to the hardest malleolium into whatever shape you desire and create alloy mixes from obscure materials. As always, experimentation is key. The main structure for melting metals is called the smeltery. It is larger than structures you may be familiar with, but the method for construction is relatively simple. It operates much like a furnace with a drain. When working with the smeltery, there are a few things to keep in mind. The smeltery functions as a large liquid tank. It is capable of melting metals and mixing various things. Drains function as input-output for the tank. 
If you need to get liquids back into the structure, simply pour them into a drain. Ores naturally have more material than processed versions, such as ingots. The smeltery will preserve the full value of ores at roughly twice as much the regular furnace would provide. So this is good stuff here, guys. Mixing two or more metals into the smeltery may result in... Uh, try left-clicking on a user and you will get a bunch of options. Oh, 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 nice stuff. Profile, follow, make mod, remove, ban. Where's Sergeant Major Shizzy? Come on. There we go. Make mod. Make mod. Make mod. It's a little bit slow, but that's not bad. There we go. Moddy's now... Uh, Shizzy is once again in charge. Listen to the lady, or you will regret it. <laughs> Right, where are, where are we at? If you need more space to process metal, add more layers. Casks are made differently from patterns. Details are found later. The smeltery is a multi-block structure. You will need the following materials to get started. So we need a number of bricks, a faucet, a casting table, a tank, and a controller. So let's see how we make this beginning. Okay, right, so let's start making ourselves a smeltery and I want to make the smeltery over here so the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm just going to lay out some cobblestone slabs to build this on and that's not nearly enough of them so let's go and make some more and we'll put a fence around it like I normally do so like that yeah, that's enough to be going with and what is that sound? Okay, so let's. The thing that worries me the most about doing this is my luggage just running off the edge. Which would be highly embarrassing and very annoying if it happens. Yes, it's, it's impossible to kill the luggage, but that's not the point. So let's make, let's make, say, a row of six here. Oh, getting a bit laggy. It's one row. Still no volume. That's two. Right, there is no volume because we are right next to the sound mufflers because they we're, we're right next to the um, dynamite generators and they are really, really noisy and frustrating. It's also the reason why I'm lagging a bit, which is starting to annoy me as a matter of fact, but we will get around it. We will get sound back in just a little bit. As long as you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my very own Gilderoy Lockhart impersonation. That's four. That's... Come on. It's five, and you start probably start hearing the world again now because we're getting a little bit away from the sound mufflers. Alright. Not nearly enough of those. That's uh just clear this out a little bit actually first of all let's go oh oh dear almost threw myself over the edge there. Um let's go and make ourselves some more have that, thank you very much. Let's go and make ourselves some more cobblestone here. Stack will do. Uh, 
like that. Okay. Back in the quiet zone. The quiet zone. Which is a bit eerie, to be totally honest, honest with you, but those, uh, um, those gunpowder generators were driving me up the wall. Like that. Uh, that's six. So let's put a fence around that for now. <laughs> yeah everyone is enjoying this here i've got to be honest with you and you know this has been so painless to use that i will definitely be coming back uh oh yes oh, absolutely yes okay let's make ourselves some fences That'll do nicely. That's probably going to be enough. Don't want to properly fence the area off. Just want to get it done so I don't throw myself to my death while making this. As amusing as I'm sure everyone will find that. Let's try not to do it this time. Right, so here we go. This is why we're going to make our smell tree. And I just want to make it against the back here. So the first thing it told us to do was make a three by three, one, two, three, there we go, that's... Okay, so... Two, three... And where's my bricks? So we want ordinary seared bricks here. One, two, three... And I need to go and make loads more. For now, we'll just take those those bricks and we'll just make some brick blocks. Actually, that'll do. Achievement get smeltery creator. That's a new one. Right, let's get next row done. No luggage, no! No, don't fling yourself to your death. Yeah, I tell you, it's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Okay, so that's the first in first set things. So we make a three by three block. Uh. Leave any space above these bricks open. You will be constructing a shell around the three by three hollow inside place the controller one layer up and the lava tank anywhere on the same level fill in the rest of the space with seared bricks lava tanks or drains as you like yeah i thought that was how we were going to make it let's do that All right okay so uh where's my controller Where's we can draw the light, man? <laughs> right, let's just grab all this stuff. Let's just grab all this stuff. And. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Fetch. 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 Come on. Is it good luggage? Is it good luggage? Is it? Is it good luggage? Is it good luggage? You're a good luggage. Have a loaded baked potato. Nom 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 nom
the luggage. So we put, um, let's say, let's put the smeltery controller here, and we'll put the lava tank. No, let's just put it next to it. There we go. All right. And we want to fill the rest of this up with bricks. One more. Where's my, where's my, where's my, uh, do Have I run out? I've run out. I've run out. Okay, let's, right, so let's go and, okay, we'll just put a fancy seared brick in there for a moment. That's done that lot. And let's go and uh, make some more grout and what have you. Oh yes, I need dust for that. Swimming luggage. Well, hey. What am I calling him? It's the luggage. It can't be anything else. Go grab a stack of that. And do I have any sand here left? No, I don't. Let's go and get some sand from down here. Oh, that's it. Actually, that's it. I didn't want sand. I wanted dust. So, get some dust from down here. There we go. That is enough to start working on this. Okay, um,. Let's do a poll. And let's... And let's... No, right, it's not a poll. The reason for all this is Terry Pratchett's novels, and the, um, in the novels, the Discworld's first tourist, a guy named Two Flower, uh, was the, the first owner of the luggage, and he just called it his luggage, because that's what tourists call it, it's, they call it their luggage. The fact that it's a completely homicidal piece of sapient pear wood has got nothing to do with it. Okay, there's a bit of homework for you guys then. Okay, if you if you actually like reading even the slightest bit, I strongly recommend that you go and find his novels because they are absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it's like he's saying, "I want to play, I 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 want to play, woof, I want to play, I want to play." Let's just get some more of this stuff. Get the feeling we're going to be doing a lot of this today. Where do you come from? Oh. Where did you come from? Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, I know. All right. Didn't bother lighting this place up, did I? Reaper! Oh dear. Right, let's take some torches up here before I forget about it. Right. F7. Yeah, a lot of this needs to be lit. Uh, 
And there. Two there, and a temporary one there, I think. There we go. That stopped things spawning in this area. Okay, where was I? Oh yes, I was moving those barrels over here, wasn't I? Okay, so let's get this stuff put back into the chest. Like that. Get these barrels moved over here, so I don't have to run so far backwards and forwards to do this. Okay, that's a couple of last ones, and so let's put those out and get those hammered. Let's get them smelting. And after that, we can get on to the rest of this. Right, so like that. Oh, hello, Melody. I didn't see you log on. I'll better take those off. Okay, let's get those cooking. Look, there's 16 of those. Where's my grout? Where's my grout? Whoops! That was silly. That could have been a bit annoying. And where's the sand? Oh, need to get some sand. Stack of sand, stack of sand. Yep, I do from time to time. <laughs> okay, it's nice to know I'm not the only one who likes them. Alright, there we go, there's some grout. Let's get that in the cooker instead. those and need these mind while that's cooking that's going to give us a bit more a few more bricks so let's have a quick look at the book again uh, place the controller one layer up and the, the lava tank anywhere on the same level we've done that the small end of drain should be facing outside. If you're successful, the controller will light up and start working. Fill the tank with lava. Did it light up and start working? I don't know. Probably means I put it facing the wrong way around. Oh, it did light up and start working. Excellent. Let me get some lava. Hello, Melody. Let's bucket of lava, that'll get us going. There we go, right. The controller. And... we. I, I think that's that done, that's that working. So let's go back to the book and see what it has to say. Watch it. Fill the tank with lava, the smeltery with metal, and watch it go.
Okay, let's go and get some metal. Uh, well, we got a lot of lead, but I don't want to make anything out of lead just now. Let's okay. Let's let's go and grab this iron. Just leave that there. We leave one in the the, the barrel. It won't fill up with anything else by accident. So now, if we put Yep, that works. That works, excellent. So okay, that's gonna actually start filling up now with iron. Look at that, that's already done. That's effectively a smeltery. Oh right. 